Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Yes, indeed. How much delay is there? We're too much delay. Yes, indeed. Right. Hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Social media. Claim reward. Oh, more medkits. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, let's do a Discord shout. As you do. Who's going to be the first person to ask aliens where? <laughs> or similar. Because they, they normally would be today, but they're not today. Um, they are going to be tomorrow, as we've mentioned a couple of times. But yeah, uh, that's the way it is. Mr. Space Quest is busy. Yes, he is. Yes, he's family stuff or something today. So there won't be any aliens today. By, not by uh, Space Quest, anyway. There could be other aliens. For reasons. Um, but it won't be today. We're sad to say. Uh, that's one done. And another one. There we go. Yeah, I still haven't published Friday's thing yet, but we'll be okay. Right, okay, so back on the shade with levels to go 218 now so a few levels to get done Daylar has the buffed me thank you Daylar let's Yes. <laughs> to say some things are certainties in life. Like Daylar buffing you if you're in Old Athen. And you happen to go <laughs> and do absolutely anything. Daylar will get you. If Daylar's on. Right, there we go. The slow jazz. Imagine a well, they're like a, what, a detective show of some kind with this music running. Long day today. Yes, indeed. It's up at six, so... It is now... 19.30 hours. Give or take. Even later. So, yeah. Pretty tired. Right, we did hand in the last one. Let's go talk to the drone. Freelancer's Inc. There we are. Goodbye. Thank you very much. At least if we get basic shoplifter again. Ho hum. 
he, I, I seem to get that one an awful lot, you know. I think it's one of the missions that, if I ran the game, and I don't, um, it'd be one of the ones I would get rid of, to be honest, because it's like, well, wait a minute. It used to be, if you did the Miner's Daily, you got a load of XP for it. And then Janelle made the argument that you couldn't have XP for it because you didn't have to PvP for it and removed the XP reward or the big XP reward from uh, doing a Miner's Daily and the Tower Tag Daily. But then left that mission in, which is a PVM mission, which makes you go flag yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> can't have it both ways, right? Karma Leech, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? So yeah, it's always sort of confused me, that one. Too diseased. Goodbye. Everyone knows it's me. It doesn't matter where I go. Yeah, so aliens should be tomorrow. According, I haven't. Been, I don't think we've got a concrete time yet, or have we? Um, not sure now. I think Space Quest said, "Yay, it'll be you know the usual sort of time." Salvo here from Twitch. Yay! <laughs> And everybody's Twitch name is different from their character's name, except me. Essentially. It's always... Well, actually, no. <laughs> they, not all my tunes have Cal in them, but, yeah, a lot of them do. I see me there. <laughs> yes, you do. Welcome on in, Salvo. Good to see you. Ah, oh, dearie me. Yeah, it's a it's a low energy stream tonight. There's no alien. Like aliens are tomorrow. I know people are going to come into the chat and ask where are, where are the aliens at. ICC planet wide announcement. Tantai has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defense of Rubicar. Congratulations. Well done. And grats on AI30. Boom, boom. Sometimes I just listen to the music. Try to imagine the person creating it in Cool Edit Pro, which they did, because the sound files say they did. <laughs> or they mastered it, or... Some of the final tweaks were done in Cool Edit Pro. I think I remember some sort of in interview with the various different devs of the time for AO, one of whom did all the soundscape and everything, saying, ah, Cool Edit Pro, yes. Because it always was such an amazing thing. It was, um, you could use it as a complete DAR. Um, it wasn't as sophisticated as, as at the time Cakewalk or um, Cubase. Or Pro Tools, but it, it, it was much, much cheaper, and you could do it. Lady Sky Cannon, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Let's go and check on this prisoner. He's a dead. He's not pining, he's passed on. All cat and natatone. Uh, this brings back fond memories. It does. 
I am having the fond memories as well. Yes, Monty Python. I, I randomly quote Monty Python at people. And usually get the quote wrong, but you know. <laughs> you can re-watch all of the old Monty... I think most of the episodes you can watch on... I think Netflix have got them. Could be Prime. I might be mixing them up. Level 200 neutral Fifroob Adv. Yep, that was a thing. Spa 2112, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Well, if you've never been before, um, I can honestly tell you, yeah, uh, mostly we stream Anarchy Online here. In fact, 99% of the time it's Anarchy Online. Now and again, I, I will try something else. What's the timer? Five minutes on that one. Possibly there's another corpse that I can't see yet. I need to move far enough away and come back again. No. So we don't... We just don't know. <laughs> Is it Magnus Pike? No, not Magnus Pike. Um, oh, the astronomer guy. Oh, how can I not know his name? Kind of a, instantly recognisable when you see him. Magnus Pike was the one that goes, Science! In there. She blinded me with science. <laughs> you hear the old prof professor voice going, Science! He actually was a scientist. Um, but they just had a sample of him going, Science! <laughs> Patrick Moore, that's it. My brain, right, my brain, such as it is, right, my brain was going, Roger Moore. And then the other part of my brain is going, no, he was a James Bond and the saint and stuff. It was definite, no, <laughs> I just couldn't get it, it was weird. It's little bits like this incidental music in the background now. Desert at night music. You know, there's just something very... I don't know. It's funny how music can take you back there much quicker than even visual things do. Um, I think it's the way our memory works. Like, smells are like that, aren't they? You see, you, you smell something from your childhood and you go, oh, you know, like, like a hot dog stand or the smell or taste of certain candy, you know, sweets and stuff. Um, or the smell of fresh carpet. You know, when carpet's just been put in and you go in or, or fresh paint inside a building. It makes you remember going back to the first time you smelled it. Something like that, yeah. It's one of those nostalgia smells. Coach N, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. There's Jojo almost won a grace yesterday, but they disappeared off the stream before the end, so they were not there to claim their prize. Very sad. But, yeah, those are them rules. You have to be available to claim unless you're, you know, like a long-time viewer or whatever. But it was someone we didn't really know and they just went there so AO's music is the best only unreal reviles yeah unreal I was playing I played the original unreal right before I ever played anarchy online so the 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 original first um unreal game which I think was 1999 I think. Could be wrong there. Was it earlier than that? I remember playing Half-Life, then playing Unreal. And still playing Unreal in 2001. And then playing Anarchy Online. Uh, 
Well, I'll join your team then. Yeah, so I'm not sure what the plan's going to be for tonight. I might take... Um, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to take... Um, one of Mrs. Kalos 2 tunes through the Adonis quest again. I'm not sure because she's she's sort of spread out with her tunes. She's not working on any of the any any of them in um, particular. She's just sort of logs whatever and plays. Yeah. Oh, typing. You'd think I'd never done it before. Yes, there you go. So I said someone would ask, and I, I, I can't blame them, because you've got to think, it's been, you know, it's been Saturdays always, and then all, it was every week, then alternate week, etc. So, yeah, time is still TBC. To be confirmed. Yeah, we did spend the IP from the last ding. That is good. I don't know if I need more. Do I need more? In it? Let's have a look. Oh no, we don't. We 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 already have more than we need. Okay. Well, there we go. Did nano in casting max those exploring did that. 3800 Oh, have I got grid space? Yeah. <laughs> I has more than I know what to do with in run speed. Trade and repair, getting close, but yeah, still got a long way to go on the base abilities to get any gear in. Hey ho. Yeah, Space Quest is doing family stuff. I think it says something about grandchildren or what have you. Yeah, I wanted to make the other. Um, uh, belt, belt, bracer thing. What was this one? Skull with candle replica. Is that a wearable thing or is it a placeable thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Trox party only going to kick the op effects. <laughs> Yeah, some games live on their music. You know, they, or their music, it, it, Atrox Online, yeah. Uh, it is one of those, isn't it? You, you can listen back to certain bits of music and go, oh, yeah. And you know exactly where you heard it, what it was from, what you were doing at the time you first heard it, etc. So, all good stuffs. Soloxy or Suloxy, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Yeah, I try and try to encourage her and did the whole. Um, here we go. Here is, <laughs> you know, like. Here's your first steps into Adonis, and then I don't know if she's done any more since. I don't think I've, I've done the Adonis brain quest on two of the tunes already, so. Problem is, you see, I log them in when she's at work, and there is like an alien event. Oh. 
and as soon as I do that, she comes back in, and it's like, I've got ten levels. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> all my all my gear seems gimp now. But on the last Saturday. It was like she came, she was watching the stream from work, <laughs> which I just thought was hilarious. She was just checking to see if I was still streaming. Right, I'm going to go to Inferno for a doja. I should get a stab guidance system as well, shouldn't I? For this tune. Go kill... Which one? Peel? I think Peel with the Keeper. Probably a good plan. What's his spawn timer though? I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I've just lost grid space, so faster than your shadow will do. It was kind of freaky they made it so that you could you could use grid armor in Shadowlands, but you couldn't use grid space freedom or R R F E. <laughs> If you were going to change something, could have been that. Nope. Yeah, and the Shadowlands battle music being different and modern sounding, they said. I remember them saying that. We wanted to try and give it an uplift and make it sound more modern. And I was like, nah, the old, the old classic da 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 dun 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 was better. <laughs> it's funny because it only were you only get the Shadowlands battle music when you're outdoors in the Shadowlands. You don't get it when you're doing um, like missions and stuff. You still get the the classic anarchy online battle music and i i think i don't know i think maybe i prefer it i'm not sure it's hard to say So yes, how is the chat? How are you all doing anyway? Are you all good? Yeah, so Aliens is tomorrow. I don't actually know when tomorrow, but it is tomorrow. I rocked an AI city raid on Bob with PFP, Fi uh, Party Boy Fixer. When you're so popular, People call you by your initials. It's like being the JFK of, <laughs> of AO or something. I don't know if there's any other events going on, like uh, roleplay ones or whatever. Whenever there's a Council of Truth, I usually try and get there for it, you know? It depends. It depends how we are for time and such like. Detected one and then I didn't. I 
I've been nicknamed Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Oh no, not the Hothlung of Doom. Oh, you can follow me around if you want. I'm not going to waste my breath or time killing you because you don't drop anything useful. Occasionally they'll drop a insignia, but that's about it. There's the Arid Rift quest to get started on as well. I'm not sure what reward do shades get from that. Is it the ear again, is it? Maybe get some of that done tonight. Although people seem to hate when I do that and they just go away in droves. Like they're shuddering at oh, Arid Rift. <laughs> Like, oh no, not that place. I don't want to watch that. Anything to do with that place ever again. I haven't done the... Ah, oh, Doja. I was about to say. I've not done the Uncle Bazic quest, but I'm curious now to see, can I do... Um, Apotheosis 30 and never touch the Bazic quest on this tune? I want to see if it's possible. Or whether you still need to have done it for that to work. I've never actually tested it. So it could be interesting. My 105 doc will get complete heal after blitzing it with my fixer. Already have the mission. What could go wrong? Well, not a lot really on a fixer. You just lol, 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 lol through the mission and <laughs> you're good. Let's click that doja. I'm just having a quick look now. A red rift, AO universe. Whiz through and have a look. It is a long ass quest though. Yeah, I'm not sure. All it lists on the guide, you get a Zanier implant. Right click it until it changes to one suitable for your profession. What does it turn into a spirit for shades then? You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Fofum. Was that fun? Fofum has reached enlightenment. Congratulations on 220. I'm assuming it must do. Well, do we get something else on Shade? It's been years and years and years. About six, seven years since I've built a Shade. So, yes, I have a Shade and I play that Shade. But since I kind of finished leveling it and doing everything on it was, you know, quite a long time ago. We can go and see if Peel Thunder is up as well. I'm going to do this last mission now. Well, I'm going to talk to the Warden first. I think that's a solid plan. Ooh, screen gone black. Yep, there we go. Is that still... Yeah, it's going into Apotheosis. Hand into the warden and then go do shoplifter. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was still in team, I hadn't even looked. Said thank you and disappeared on everybody. Another dead prisoner. Green, whatever's. Goodbye. You made a fun tune yesterday for the lols. All my tunes are for the for the lols. There, is there any other kind? <laughs> or at least that was the plan. Oh. <laughs> One stim item I don't care for. Atrox Advi named Psycho Advi. I've seen some very good Atrox um, adventurers when I think of it. Can't remember. There was one guy who was always in leet form. Wherever he was, whatever he was doing, he almost never saw them when they were not elite. And they used to role play pretty hard as well. So, fun to play tune, but in terms of like, oh, it's only messing about tune, not really. They're, you know, they're quite viable. Damn, he's seen me. <laughs> Guy's not happy with me. Back to the music. The high rise. No, oh, feck off, God. All that concealment, and I still can't bloody hide from a guard. Redonkulous! Didn't want to do your stupid mission anyway. Yeah, zoning any time would be good. Use pistol, but can't figure out what pistols to use after the subway ones. And, um, oh, I I did a full, um, we did a full let's build op effects, ad with pistols, but I can't remember what he used after that either. I would have to actually go back through the videos and have a look. Mission complete. Goodbye. What's that? Opti... Opti Chip Stacks is now following. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I has my reward now. Goodbye. Right, that's the three, so now... Freelancer's incomplete. Let's go hand that in as well. Yeah, we used something, but I can't think what. Wouldn't have been Dog of Wars. Um, what the hell did I use? I think they were like a Rubicar one, but I can't think what the hell it was called now. If you go back to the um, stream VODs and look at maybe the second or third one with that particular character on it, um, you probably see what he's using there. But I honestly can't remember. 
I think it was Volpu, it was Volpu or Mihalik. I think probably Mihalik saying, no, you must use these ones or something. There we go. Yeah, normally I do Arid Rift because I want some alien XP, but we're already AI 30, so I no longer need it. Not sure what Arid Rift is like on Shade. It's so long since I've done it. Do I need the beta ear from that? I probably do. Because the yeah maybe yeah uh, the not subway um, foreman's pistol yeah it's probably a pair of those. I customize AMI yeah. There'll be someone with um, a farming tune for that. Foreman's pistol yeah I think you're right. The no drop one with a level forty one requirement. I'm pretty sure that's the one. And then after those I think I went straight to dogs of war. Yeah, you've got to be level 41 to equip. But they're pretty good. Nice burst on them as well. Time to grind Temple of the Three Winds. Well, with the dailies in there and everything else, it's quite a lot of XP whilst you're there. <laughs> like the elite daily and freelancers mission there is is pretty nice but you could try you could take a trip to biomare the foreman's dungeon someone will have like a level 100 bureaucrat or something like that they can do the farm age with you Let's get the defensive hood in because it's arid rift. It's gloomy. There's a horrible pulsing noise. What's not to love? Not a level 25, I can't. You could blitz down. I've blitzed down at level 25. At 25, you're probably okay-ish with, um, with those, but you wouldn't be able to put them on. Okay, I'm gonna save here. We are quite quick now, so possibly we can just ignore the aliens and run past them. If we can, good. And I've decided it's already too damn gloomy and dark in here. BBI faithful. Yeah. Also a good what good choice, yeah. I just can't remember. I think it was those, but I think there was maybe something else in between. Demolitionist Hawk. Let's just see how hard this is. We are 218, so I'm thinking Arid should be quite easy. <laughs> Famous last words. Now the throbbing has started. Yeah, the ear would help if we could equip it because it's got the psychic and what in what not in it. I think I'm not sure. Regarding Temple of the Three Winds, I can clear it with my sixty engineer casting a slayer. Yeah, definitely. Can you handle Azzy on it on the I would imagine so with the Slayer. I've seen agents doing it with um level 200 demon. It's kind of nuts. Mathematica! Welcome to the stream, good to see you.
Dun, 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 dun. Well, the larvae aren't touching me, so that's a good positive. We'll see how we do for the rest of it. Excuse me. The other thing I need to do is finish off um, the pens and quest and do a lapper to get the um, the absorb sleeve. Pretty sure that's going to help. Yeah, we blew Shelby Empo's mind by going to the test server yesterday. She was like, oh my god, <laughs> with auto and all his, uh, here's all the freebies. Can I help you find one of these units? Sure, I'll do it. Goodbye. Right, okay, we need to make space. How many crystals am I going to need? I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Artifacts is volume one. I've done all my specs, haven't I? Yeah, why have I? I've no idea why I still have that, but there you go. Oh, I've forgotten I'd got those trousers. Very, very handy for what they are. Got three there. Get rid of that. Okay, that's four things, so three crystals plus that. Okay. Let's see what this is like. If we're getting absolutely murdered trying, we will see. Should probably redo a few of these buffs, actually. Go to hidey hole number one. Like so. Right, I think that's most of them. <laughs> now we've got the big hold hell at bay ring, we've got max nano resist IP, so we should be relatively okay. So the first one we need, Corrupted Crystal. Well, at least that stupid throbbing noise has stopped. Trying to find the right one. Corrupted Crystal. Pulsating corrupted. No, oh, that's polluting. That's polluting. Polluting. Oozing. Down here somewhere. Oh, there's another oozing. I'm pretty sure these change their spawn randomly, don't they? Tiny shards oozing. 
You know, we've seen an oozing. Oozing, there we go. Polluting. Okay. The only way to survive is to fight. Shade for life. Fighting heals you. <laughs> Mr. Nano, yet another character. Yeah, from like a month ago. But yes, another one. Shariki, welcome to the stream. Good evening, Komodo. Why run when you can fight? It is the shade way. Wonder if Taz still plays. Yeah, could could Taz I think maybe, but you know how people make hundreds of different tunes eventually. Which one am I on now? Polluting. There we go, we found the polluting one. Right, back to the dude. That's a nasty dot. It quite possibly Taz still plays, but yeah. Ooh, someone's been busy. Why have I still got a dot? Dot be gone! <laughs> dot away spray! Yeah, Taz probably does play, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what character they play on. But quite likely that they do, yeah. Gone the wrong way, gone the wrong way. Oh, is it back to Demolitionist? I thought I went back to the first guy. Uh, the second guy, rather than... Oh, it is him, yeah. I'm just looking at the map like a numpty. Yeah, how much nano resist do we have? Yeah, not as much as I'd like, to be honest. 1746. Need better spirits. Need to the combined beaters, at least. Just can't get the damn things in yet. Atrox, Atrox sense for the lose. I have the crystals you sent me out for. There we go. Can you guys shoot this piece of crap that's shooting at me? Thank you. I'm gonna have to kill it myself. I'll return to your commander and give him an update then. Possibly Taz still plays. Do you know the full character name? I can look for you. And we've got the throbbing. <laughs> Joy. If 
found your men, they're relatively okay. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so... Evolution. Oh, go kill the thing. Okay. Should be alright killing it, I think. Like someone's running around killing many, many mobs. Keep seeing dead mobs everywhere. Oh, great. Exactly what you want in Arid Rift. Lag that lags you back into the middle of the aliens you were running away from. Or running past, at the very least. really want the ability to turn that throbbing sound off. I'm just hoping that kamikaze... Can't sneak him. Is there a, an event this evening? You picked the wrong time to try and talk to my shade. The thing you're so busy clicking away that it's very difficult to um, to do anything. was too late replying. <laughs> Return to Riker. The Riker manoeuvre. You know, you swing your leg over the top of the chair. Ah, Beacon, how I love you. The deserters were all dead. I killed the alien. Handled it alone, I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, so it is going to be the Sunday evening for the alien event. No loitering, right, okay. Oh, kamikaze dusters, we love this one. 20, 30 minutes, I start clan penumbra sanct key if somebody needs it. And then we go, everybody. If you need the penumbra sanctuary key... Shariki is starting it, so DM them or organising some way or other. The joy of the kamikazes and the random drops. Gotcha. One dead. I'll kill you. Yeah, nice Sunday roast. Yeah, can't be beaten. Duster number one. Try and duster both of them. No, it kamikazed. 
Okay, there's one item. Ooh, a bit close to this dude. Try and avoid the drop ships. Don't be underneath them. They spawn little lads that never despawn. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, this is the problem with these. You get a lot of repeat drops or no drop at all. And then you've got little ads everywhere. And this little swine draining nano off me, which, let's face it, doesn't take long because I've got zero IP in nano pool. No, I'm not joking. I really don't. <laughs> Current improvement. Zero. <laughs> Over the years, I've found this to be a fairly good spot for farming kamikazes, but... They do, they do pop up here, there and everywhere, so... Good night, TC, all. Okay. And the one time I'm thinking, yeah, there's probably one around here somewhere now. Nope. We saw one earlier. Ah, there's one. Let's stop it from detonating. And then try and get it over here. Come back! <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> yeah, it's not a case of kill three and get the parts you need. You can kill 20 and not get the parts you need. Away from that thing. One more drop, come on. This thing's threatening to get me. You stop that right now. Yeah, we should be all right. Nope. <laughs> Double up on drops. Try back up the other end, maybe. Ooh, nearly ran right under that. That's never a good time. I think when I did this on the Op Effect shade, I actually used um, concealment and sn and <laughs> he had sneaked a load of this. Um, there's one.
Will you come all the way over here to fight me away from the other thing? You have to stand right where that thing is going, don't you? You can't just come over and toe to toe with me. Right, there we are. We're getting somewhere. Nothing on that one. I had it once, you know, I was trying to kill one of these and there was like um, one of the medic mobs just giving it CH every few minutes. <laughs> it was like, oh, the pain. Can prove to be a bit much, but hey, there you go. No, got that bit already. Spying around for another kamikaze, come on. Oh, you would have come back, wouldn't you? You. The assault force dudes. Annoying as hell. Oh, that's a nice nano pool. Shame if something happened to it. <laughs> they're annoying. Come on, admit it, they're annoying. Sometimes you can get really lucky and only kill two of the um, duster things and then other times you're here all day trying to get the parts. I've had one of them drop two of the parts before now as well. That's always nice. But really quite rare. Nothing on that one. One there. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. second one came floating by and killed itself yeah keep getting this part again and it's not the part you need die <laughs> Come on, I know you're here somewhere. They're a weird mob, those. 
They're only a problem if they f they go over you. Otherwise, they they don't aggro. But once they've gone over you, that's it. They're all over you. <laughs> and they're really quite hard to kill. They hit stupidly hard for what they are. I've had them brush a bit too close here and they drop two of the little um they drop two little assault troops of some kind and they did that and the assault troops stayed down there for like an hour or something ridiculous the only way i could get rid of them was using the beacon all right come on be lucky drop the item we require It's not like buses, isn't it? There's another one coming just now. I'm going to do a thing on it. Just in case. Yep. And then there's one just over there that's going to actually kamikaze. I think. I can try and hit it with this, but I don't think it'll work. It might. It hasn't detonated. So we could be going, we could be in luck here. Come on, RNG. Yay! Look at see. If I'd have killed those two first, I'd have got all three parts right away. But I didn't, me. <laughs> but I did not. I should give myself more buffs as well. And a token board, and, and, and. I managed to get the dust thingies. And there's your three weirdo bits of stuff. So what now, sir? Unicorn Commander Riker again. No, parser. Uh, this is the... <laughs> <coughs> This is the lots and lots of running phase, which is basically the whole thing, if you think about it. <laughs> Healthy, yeah. I'm convinced it's something to do with the foam on this microphone. Because when I'm, when I'm doing a stream, it's the only time my, my face is that near to it, and I start sneezing. I mean, I've had the foam on the mic for, God, more than a year. So it's weird, but yeah, I think maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, take it off and wash it or something. I think it's just dust, being honest. Don't think it's anything more nefarious than dust. Looking like all systems go for the new rig, the new PC build, end of the month, which coincidentally is at or around Black Friday. 
It's looking like we're good to go on that score and still okay for Christmas, we hope. <laughs> Be a, be a good thing because I've not upgraded the PC other than the graphics card for 10 years so it'll be quite a massive um, improvement really and then M.2 get AO on an M.2 drive and uh, should be good Soto Mahoney her Excellency, Eva Poor Eyes, would like you to know that you have been nominated for the Lieutenant General Robert Rossuma Memorial Award for your dedicated efforts in aiding Unicorn Company. <laughs> oh, the honor for aiding the unicorns. <laughs> so, Tom Honey, how the devil are you? Oh, ruins I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm jumping ahead and getting it wrong. Hello friends, hello Soto Mohoni, welcome to the stream. It's everybody's favourite Omni Spy. I'm just whizzing past these mobs first though. Before we is dead. We get to the first thing and then I'll do the omni spy meme can't really do both <laughs> while I'm doing this we're just gonna end up very very dead I might nip back to Rubicar and give myself a bunch of buffs actually I'm just thinking maybe that's the sensible thing to do <clears throat> can I has jump thank you Is this ruins number one? It's not, is it? But while we're here, the ominous spy, how do you do, my fellow clansmen? <laughs> and because it resembles a face, YouTube will pick it as the, uh, that's the thumbnail you should use. Does it nearly every time as well, you know, it's quite funny. <laughs> Omnitrans has been trying to reach you regarding your YARM's extended warranty. Oh no, not the warranty on the YARM. <laughs> Thanks for the bit. I miss AO. Been years since I played. Played it. Tried to get back into it, but requires so much patience to relearn it. it it's surprising how quickly you do relearn it, though. The trick of it is, it has been decided by everyone that's done a returnee, and I've, I've spoken to and helped out lots of returning players, is make a new character and start relearning the game on that character. It's fun. It's actually fun to do it that way. And within a month or so, you're a, it's amazing how much you remember, rather than trying to go in at the deep end and relearn everything, you know, on a high-level character. Re you know, relearning the game itself on a lobby character. Because you're going over old ground, as it were, that you did right at the beginning, it jogs your memory better. It's the same principle as someone that, oh, I used to play guitar, but haven't for years. If you try and go straight into what you remember playing last, like complicated solos and things like that, it's very much harder than if you just pick up a guitar and start strumming chords again. You know, that kind of thing. How do I get to this one? I've forgotten now. Oh yeah, the last running man is in the middle bit. Yeah, we'll do the ruins and then I'm going to go get a bunch of extra buffs. No one farming here. My God. 
That makes a change. Tried WoW again after 10 years, it lasted three days, couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, I, I never took to WoW. Every time it's brought up, people are like, what, you don't like WoW? I was like, well, no, not really. <laughs> if I'd have liked it, I'd have played it. Uh, it just felt very, very same-ish. Uh, didn't like the art style. Didn't like the game mechanics. It's one of them. You, you, you take to something or you don't. It either gels with you or it doesn't. Nothing against it. Nice somewhere near the right spot. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not just that. It's like I tried WoW and I remember I eventually got my first level and spent 10 minutes looking for the skill window. Only to discover there isn't one. This game does not have a skill window. Uh, we'll we'll decide what skills you need. Go away, nub. No, no, just I was just sort of like, really? Uh, how about no? I think this is it. There's no blue marker, but. Beacon. Uh, came back to AO after a bit. Call my out. Not bad. You think Fun Colden will let me off? They let you have it. Yeah. Unless someone reports it and says I'm offended by this, um, you're probably okay. Tola Garth, guessing more of a sci-fi fan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is about WoW, but I just, I just don't get into it. I know it's popular and blah blah, but I'm, it, it just it just never gelled for me, so I didn't play it. I tried the early game when it launched, and then um, <clears throat> I also tried. Um, someone had like a high level, said try a high level. It's a totally different game. I was like, okay, you know, we'll give it a go. Didn't like that either. And that was it. I never bothered again. I was like, okay, it, it is what it is. It's just, it's not a game for me. So I'm just not going to play it, you know. Um, as popular as it is and all the rest of it, I just never liked it. So, you know, sucks to be me. Making, You know, I'm sure if I would have been making <laughs> WoW videos, you know, 15 years ago, I'd have got, <laughs> I'd have had a very popular channel maybe. But it just never, it never really appealed to me, so I just never did. It's not why I do YouTube and, and Twitch or, and all that anyway. I do it because I would play this game anyway. So kind of makes sense in my mind <laughs> to do it like this. Uh, what do I want to give myself? All of the buffs, I think. Okay, first off, I'm going to give myself... Engi buffs, I think. So I'm going to bump off. I'm back in and give myself ACs. They did something like that with Sota. Yeah, I played Sota for about a year, but then I just eventually just got fed up with it. There you go. Some things work for you, yeah. I mean, the best part of uh, SOTA for me was playing through the single-player campaigns. They they seemed way better to me than, you know, the, the endgame stuff. Plus, the way that the me mechanically the game worked was hard. Like, um, <clears throat> in order to get, you know, the nice items, you had to be in a raiding guild, and they'd insist that you raided it these days of the week, at this time, blah, blah. And it was like, okay, but, you know, if I can't make it, it's not, it wasn't just that you didn't get the bits. It was, it was like, 
Well, if you can't be there, you can't be in that raiding group. So go away. And it, it, I just, yeah, I just really got up my arse, that did. Some of the raids were pretty cool. Yeah, some of them were, but, you know, maybe I can't do it every Saturday or something like that. How are you buffing yourself from the same account? Bump logging. Simple as that. That's been around since 2001. So if you crash your character off the server, you're a ghost of your character stays on the server for 30 seconds. It's completely unplayable, but you can buff it. That's, that's been a thing since 2001. It's never been changed or fixed or anything. So what I'm going to do is the game's running. I'm going to start another instance of the game now. I'm going to give myself a crap buff. Yeah, well, that's you crash off. That's why. If I try and log in while a character's logged in, it will say this account is logged in. Yeah, it will do. So I've just started AO. So there you go. I'm going to get it. If I try and log in, it'll say exactly what you're saying. Error player is logged in. So what you do is go back here and then quit to Windows twice. Log in. And now I'm going to log Fatty Balls. I'm giving myself a buff. I've only got 30 seconds to do it. <clears throat> they didn't induce pug for raids. It worked decent. Yeah, it can do if, ever, if people know what they're doing. But invariably, you know, people wouldn't. So... <laughs> it was just like, no! I think I'll give myself a nano resist buff as well. There you go. So that's how you buff your character. Just have a have a client ready to go, crash yourself off, and then buff yourself. Wild. I've played on and off since 2003 never knew. Literally had two accounts for that. Yeah, I mean, it is easier with two accounts, but you know, there's certain buffs you can't do, like team auras and things like that. You can't do that because the other, the ghost can't join the team. So it, it, it's not a complete solution, you know? Like if I want ward, I can't do it because I, I can't invite a ghost into team and then cast ward so they've got ward for 20 minutes. Or, you know, something like that. Sometimes if you're quick enough and bump the other characters off, you can even get as high as sort of three or four or three buffs from three different characters on your account, but it's pretty hard. Uh, Nano Resist, I want my dock, don't I? So once again, same thing, like so, back here, F10, quit to Windows, double click, and then we do the thing. <laughs> you do get these annoying windows in front of you though. Oh no, NCU. <laughs> Should have given myself an NCU buff first. Oh well, we'll do that and then try that one again. You can tap Alt F4 twice. Yeah, sometimes it crashes the second client though. Which is why I do it that way. There is a reason that I do it that way round. How is that graphics engine development? You're looking at it. They released a beta in 2015 and that's it nothing since since then i've made three different videos on tweaking it getting more out of it trying to make it more stable um but ao side they've done a little bit i think they've done some stability tweaks for certain areas but not much so it is still a bit wobbly you can use a wrapper with um with the new engine as well and run it in Vulkan, which is handy for trying to play on Linux and stuff. Uh, and also you can use um, DG Voodoo and run the old engine in DX11 mode. So then you can use like reshade and shaders and stuff. 
Yeah, it's not it's not ideal. I'm on a RTX 3060, um, but I was making the tweaking the engine videos on a on a 680 and a 980. Um, the only difference is with this now is I can add ray tracing, so you get ambient occlusion and stuff, and it doesn't really it does hit the frame rate, but not much. So this time I'm going to log my Froob fixer on a second account because I need a, a team buff. Yeah, I think they've just abandoned, you know, doing the engine. There was three different engines they were going to do. Um, and they'd get so far and then just not get any further with it. Um, and then this last one was like, well, if you want, you can have it on the live server. And, you know, most people went, yes, please. Yeah, see, to do a team buff, I need both logged in, which both are now. Hack and quack. I should give him the bigger one. That's going to make it easier. But that needs a bump log. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better than a, than nothing, but it's not, um, not the end-all be-all. I don't usually run, if I'm doing it, it, it will still crash quite a bit. Um, sad to say, but yeah. I mean, it crashes on stream. I don't try and hide the fact it's not very stable, you know. I'm not going to do a, a disservice to everyone and not let them know that. Right, I was going to do the doctor buff, so we'll do that first. Once you've logged a character in, uh, when you log them back in, quite often you don't have to faff around with um, right. That should bump up his nano resist quite a bit. Yeah, you don't have to dodge the um, <laughs> the login windows until it's twelve hours later. Then you have to do it again. Right, he's a little more defensive and everything else. They've made some nice quality of life changes, like um, things like RRFE, NCU buffs, Hack and Quack, uh, Beamoth, a whole slew of, of, you know, really useful nanos that people generally have running. Um, they're all now four hour long. So like the NCU buff, remember it used to be like 30 seconds or something. You try and squeeze buffs in and then recast it. Now it lasts for four hours. So it, it has made them a lot, you know, a lot better. So now 2,000 nano resist, good stuff. Right, hopefully we is the defensive enough for this bit. Which bit is it down? No, it's this way. Doing the brittle and everything. Katie <laughs> McCake face. Please work. No, is that not the right one? Oh, it's this dude first. Yeah, 
Yeah. Then this one. This is like really having to concentrate. <laughs> Combining and running at the same time. Did it. <laughs> I have to concentrate to do that. Oop, wrong way. Bad, bad plan. Yeah, a, f a properly done, fleshed out, functioning new engine would have helped. But it's not just um, the graphics API in, in AO is quite unique, and the way it's tied into the game, other game mechanics is is it would to to have it in people go oh I should remake it and they should upgrade it to Unreal Five like it's some kind of like import and forget. It, it doesn't work like that. So yeah, it, it's weird, but if you if the more the more I've learned about how coding and and, and whatnot in the game works, the the more I realise I don't know. But yeah, it's not just import into Unreal Five, press click and go. That like you would literally have to rebuild the entire game uh, from the ground up, all the game mechanics and and the AI, everything, absolutely everything would have to be remade. Uh, and the likelihood of that actually happening is fairly slim. So. <laughs> I mean, that, it, it would be as much work to do that as to build a, a whole new game anyway. And then it would never quite feel and play the same way. So the DX9 uh, sort of import is about probably as far as they're ever going to go. I get all those buffs. <laughs> I still get nailed by aliens running from A to B. Yay, I love Arid Rift, he said, lying through his teeth. I think the thing with Arid Rift is I think they maybe designed it for to be played in a team doing the quest, but... I'm just watching Clan OCC, or OOC, everybody. Where's the aliens? Where are they? We demand our aliens. They're not part of the game, so to speak. It's not like the Arbiter or something. It's it's like an arc that does it, you know. Right, so I jumped two stages or more ahead coming here. But we're now ready for this bit, which is good. Right, guy with the sandwiches or whatever. Okay, what do you want me to go and do? Goodbye. Yeah, get the parts. Denied. <laughs> I thought it was going to land. I thought it was going to make it. I failed. if I can remember where some of these parts are.
Yeah, there seems to be a box there, ploughing through all the aliens. You're not wrong, but your terminology is. Okay. The client would need to be real world, but the client is not the render engine. Yeah, that's exactly what I am saying. Um, it's not... Oh, just put the game inside the Unreal graphics engine. It's the entire game would have to be rebuilt for it to work in that kind of engine. But yeah, I've probably not said it as someone that codes for, you know, that level would say it. But yeah, that's what I mean. It's not just graphics engine. The graphics engine is one layer of the game. It's not the entire game. You can bypass the render without rebuilding the client. It's just an ugly... Well, that's what they did with this. That's how we got the DX9 version. And why it's so bloody unstable. I mean, the old end, the old client is based. The the graphics engine is based in DX8 and seven, but it was 2001. What else would they do it in? There wasn't, you know, the APIs weren't available to do other stuff. Do a doctor Nas wrote pack to Professor Musad. The engine is replaced with Cheetah and updates to the packed database. Yeah. Back to Parser. Yeah, you've got both, though, in the client, though. So if you look, you've got... I know I've got 101 screenshots. And a reshade and all that, but... Yeah, you know, Randy thirty one DLL is still in there. If you delete it, the game won't run. I know it just it runs with Cheetah and or Orson, Orsonium process, whatever the hell that is. But in the early days, I remember the game crashing a lot and the error message re referring to the Randy something or other. Quite how it all links together, but you have got the Cheetah DLL as well. But you've got both when you install the new client. Londis, welcome to the stream. Ugh, fine, you've got to listen to. Not that it's getting used directly, yeah, but if I delete it, the game won't run. So it's doing something, isn't it? Or it's required. You know. I got the 13700K installed. Very nice. Cool. That's what I'm going for as well. It should help with streaming, etc. Eight, going from four cores, eight threads, to eight cores, four th and umpteen threads. But Task Manager in 10 is not going to understand what the hell's going on with um, the E cores or something. We've got to have Windows 11 for that or something. Yeah, someone made a, quite an interesting, you know, layman's level uh, video about where it was to do with when Fallout 76 was released, and they and they were saying, oh, no wonder it's so buggy. It's the old, it's the it's the engine. Um, and then someone that actually understands that engine completely sort of goes, it's not the engine. <laughs> it's, there's different layers to it, the whole thing. 
So as much as I understand it, yeah, you can't just copy pasta into Unreal 5 and expect it to run with, you know, without issue. You would literally have to rebuild so much of it, you're kind of doing all of it. We've got the 5900X, yeah, that's a monster CPU as well. But yeah, that the 13th gen, like undervolting that, etc., seems like a good plan for me. So, I'm getting to. I was gonna do the Intel root and stick with DDR4 because it, at the time when I was thinking of doing it, DDR5 was really expensive. So, going to the new AM5, as, as they call it, uh, platform for AMD was like, mm, maybe not. But now DDR5 has come right down in price. A 32 gig kit is like a hundred and, and like a known brand as well. Um, is not not any more expensive than DDR4, so why not have a, have the extra? You know, undervolted this one by 0.15, dropped the temperature by 20 C, underload. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's definitely what I want to do. I mean, I do it with this CPU as well. It's undervolted by one, um, <laughs> by one, undervolted by point, about the same actually, and then running at four gig full time. Um, and it never, it never gets to sixty, even rendering stuff out in Adobe for four hours or whatever. Return to Doctor Parser. Okay, Beacon again. It does save quite a bit of running. I have the supplies. This is old news to me. Whatever makes this quest go faster, please. <laughs> A way in. Right, here's the test. Can we does it? I'm going to get another cup of tea before that. Are you streaming tomorrow? I will be for the alien event, yeah. The Sunday alien event. We didn't know we wanted. <laughs> right, give me a couple of minutes. Do you want the intermission screen? So you can look at guitars, or do you want me to leave it on the live screen? What do you want to do? <laughs> I'll leave it on the live screen. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just making a drink.
Right eye is back. How is the chat? <laughs> right, away in. Make or break time. Can we does it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd like to see AO remade in something like Unreal 5. Just don't think I'm going to ever. Not sure I'm going the right way here. I think I am. It would, but for it to not look terrible, they would probably have to redo a load of, well, most of the textures and then all the models would have to be remade because obviously the, the polygons and stuff don't match and you know modern standards etc so yeah there's a lot more to to it really right let's pull you over here Soon I'm looking for help killing Patriarch, Prophet, Maud, Unread, Temple, Omega, Sir Vortu. Yes. God, we used to do that a lot. Literally just with a faction. Because there was no other real way of getting that kind of level of faction. <laughs> it used to be the big dilemma of the game, that. Trying to level in Shadowlands without faction just took... It was just so bad. You know, and it was only when they introduced um, Inferno missions that suddenly it fixed the problem overnight. You know, suddenly people could get up to 45, 50k faction in a few days doing the missions instead. Don't know how I'm going to do against the boss, that's the only thing. Boss could prove problematic. Yeah, so if anyone wants to get the sanctuary key or just wants to help out, that's occurring in a few minutes. Can you remember when the new engine launched? Um, and it's still an issue with the Mantis Queen now. It has too many joints for the, en for the graphics engine to deal with. Which is why you get all these mad black curtains floating around it. It was the exact same thing with spine tooths as well. But the, what they did is went in and reduced the number of... I think they said it was the number of joint, uh, joints it had that caused it or something like that. So they went in and got rid of them, or reduced them down to where it didn't do it. But then they, they didn't animate the same way anymore. But they've never fixed it with the Mantis Queen, so... And let's rescue the old guy. They never want to come and fight. Oh, there you go. We got one. The one's on him. But if you don't talk to him, he stays inside and sometimes he helps fight the other mobs. It's quite useful. Not every time, but quite often he will. If you talk to him, he just leaves, which is annoying.
Oh, great. You have a nice clean pull and they go, well, I'll bring my mates with me. <laughs> because reasons. I'll try and do a clean pull and this is what I get. <laughs> sure which music to play. Gonna get a single pull if I do it like this. From max distance. Nope. <laughs> it still pulls the other ones with it. Damn you. Now the tricky stuff. Some of these nuke-like you just wouldn't believe. wiped out by these guys and once you die in here it just all resets which is real annoying <clears throat> and then this one the one to the other side and then Ungaro lordy lordy it's the big guy debuffed my innards and I'm trying to cast that on him <laughs> great silent silent hain 88 welcome to the stream nice to see you welcome on in seeing if we can solo this bit. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's a It will be tough at the very least.
Right, so the big boss should have spawned by now. We'll see. I'm going to be running him towards old Jacob. See if old Jacob can help us out. Sometimes he does. Ah, he saw me. Okay. Come on, Jacob. <laughs> Join in anytime. Go on, Jacob, hit him. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a bug when... Um, there you go. Thanks, Jacob. Not that he does much, but at least he's helping. Ooh, getting low, come on. Careful in battle. Dimashed him. Come on, almost there. First aid, yes. Close. And he drops nothing. Jacob, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's always going to be safe. Have you found anything in here? Be careful, all right? And then he just runs away. But he does that if, whenever you talk to him, so worth saving talking to him until after the fight. Daft as that sounds. Right, let's go back to Morgan Parser. Something happened in the ruin. Right, so this one is... Da, 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 has three unique pieces. From it. Yeah, so we've got to go kill a few collectors for this one. You must have to have Nano Resist out the yin yang in here to not get snared, etc. How dark should we make it? Yes. There you go. Just turn the brightness up. Can we do anything with it? Turn global light off, maybe. No, this isn't where they are. Durp. On the wrong way. 
I remember now. <laughs> God. Whenever I do alien missions, Ensigns do the most damage by fair share. Really? It's usually the ones that nuke for me. It depends, though. Like on certain tunes where I've got really high nano resist, the the ones that nuke do nothing. And then there's a couple of others that are like an MA. They've got um, vulnerability seeker running in their NCU, and they crit like hell. going the wrong way again because of course we are right here's collectors please don't have 5,000 people farming in here got the all <laughs> right there Sneaky muck, sneak face. I'm going to end up with a load of them either way. Oh, brilliant. Maybe I can get one down. I take it back. I wish someone was in here farming. <laughs> now I've got all this, this many to deal with. Oh, good God. <laughs> All of my notes. Collector leaders out and about now. Brilliant. Trying to get these one. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Back off. No, we will all attack you all at the same time. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking joking me. Oh god, they're still coming. You lot just back off. Go restand somewhere else or something. I've forgotten how much I fucking hate Arid Rift. I do, I really hate it. See, they're all reset now. But no matter where I go, they all, en masse, all charge over. Try and get one. Target is not in line of sight. Okay, what about that one? I'm kind of half waiting for the rest of them to just suddenly come over. Decide that, yes, we can see you from here. Looking for help now, killing Maud, Omega, and more death in Inferno. Got insignias for Imp Sank Key. Yay. Maybe that's two. And then we're going to do one more. Yeah, they don't make this easy, do they? 
Never do. Go back to Parsa once more. Killing them did the trick. Yeah, and then the next bit, you've got to target each one of the bosses and fight the last one, the Vicar's boss. Fun times. <laughs> you can see how much faith I've got. Where's the doohickey? Right, there's the doohickey. No, they can all detect me. Oh, he's down. He would be. Oh, there he is. Just stay in range while you target him. Run away. Jesus. No, 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 no. Don't make me go and get all those buffs again. You piece of shit. Ugh. Oh, I hate Arid Rift. No, it's just that there's not enough people in Arid Rift killing stuff, so you're dealing with the whole playfield. And then even when you're miles away from stuff, it's still killing you. It's like, really? You know, you can commit no mistakes and still and still lose. That, that's the game. We've just been running round all of those, but we were already ridiculously low on health. But you couldn't stay where we were because you're just going to die. So you've got to run on to the next area. And then they were all still in a stupid position and not reset. So they all aggroed instantaneously. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it really is. Right, let's give myself an NCU. Even with all those bloody buffs. I need better spirits, but I can't put them in because he's at Trox. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that much sense. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't set alarm bells running. Want to sell three grace for one grace key code? <laughs> Hello. That that sort of sounds. Mm, I'm not saying it is dodgy, but <laughs> that sounds quite dodgy. Right. Okay. So first off. Uh, we're going to do Oh, let's have a improved essence of beer moth. Let's have an extra HP. That's going to help. Uh 
screen as well. That can help. Did not want to lose... It wasn't so much the dying. The dying, I don't really mind. It's having to come back and redo all these buffs again. That that's that's the yeah part of it for me anyway. Okay, yeah, so having to come back and rebuff that's the annoyance for me more than, more than anything actually dying is like yeah uh -huh. where else am I going to give myself uh Oh yeah, Moochums, yeah. And then the dock buffs, I think. Is what it is. And then Moochums on top, I think. I kind of know that um, if I were to... Um, Like redo like if he was up effects and I put in um like you know at least second tier beaters and stuff in him he'd be having a much easier time of it there but I can't get them in yet. <laughs> it's, ah, annoying. And I've still got the gamma ramped up the the yin out the yin yang at the moment. Anyone got a heated energy core lying around? Gladly pay for it, none on GMA. Heated energy core, what's that from? I'm trying to think now. Oh, yeah. To make the trimmer. God, that's it's been four, three or four years since I've done that. When did I make him? So I made Fatty Boars, then an NT, then I made the Engie. So that would be about 2017. 
<laughs> and then all these others followed. Searching, do you use Anarchy Online Item Assistant? It'll tell you exactly which bag it is in, on which tune and where. I've actually got mine set up now, and my god, does it make life easier. I'm just waiting for a kill in Inferno. There you go. Am I not running? Deflect for 80, even though I've got nothing in deflect. And I can sell it to you when I'm back on Rubicar, indeed. Yeah, I've forgotten how I did half the things I did on um, my Engi. But I did make the specialised trimmers and stuff. Run away! Why am I coming in? That's the wrong bit. <laughs> Does feel like he's running kind of slow for some reason. This is always so much fun. Going the wrong way. No, this is, this is not it. Oh, yes, it is. I'm cutting around the bottom, aren't I? Started off, it felt quite defensive, and now I kind of don't. Sneak these guys. Nope. It just ends my sneak immediately. I have to kill my way into him, I think. Yep. 
Yeah, you target this one and it m mutates into a boss that you have to fight, and I've struggled more with that boss on certain characters than, than even the guy from inside the machine, which is bonkers. Bloody cloaked scout, I'll show you cloaked. You start sneaking, you end sneaking. Why am I not able to sneak? Game, why? Why game, why? God. Kill three of them now. You watch and I'll still get ads when I get to the boss. <laughs> Even though I've killed my way to the boss. Oh, the joy of doing Arid Rift. Oh, Kamikaze Dust has shown up as well. <laughs> Hi, having fun? Let me spoil that for you. Kaboom. Yeah, sneak. And it immediately stops sneaking. Thank you, game. Are oh, you piece of shit? Miraculously, you can't jump as high as you did before. Allow me to just warp you to somewhere stupid. Oh, come on. Right, now I can sneak. The hell was it dropping sneak all the time? It's not the keyboard, it's a mechanical Cherry MX Browns keyboard. The key keys don't stick. Must be other things spotting me. Started fighting too soon. Now I've blocked totemic rights. This is not going to be funny. Jesus Christ, this mob. Yeah, and you can't run away from it. Oh, and it stops you fighting mid-fight. Thank you. Just what I want on a shade, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck this shit. <laughs> My god. Right, wolfing time. So glad that stage is over. That's all I can say. Really need to upgrade his uh, spirits, but I can't. It's so frustrating. There's your stupid thing. <laughs> Nothing else we can do here. Right. Talk to the aliens. Morgan passes over a woman. Yeah. Okay. So now we do the finding the body and all that built and stuff. And the lead is still here, look. Oh, here's some, here's, here's some damage from like six seconds ago. Now you've turned the corner and done everything else. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come on. Come at me. Nah. Too bad. Sherry Tater, I'm going to talk to you and then you're going to pretend you've no idea who I am on another stage of the quest. And so will this guy. <laughs> now you've run all the way here. Go all the way back where you just came from. Like, nobody has mobile phones or walkie-talkies or anything in 25,000 years in the future. I'm just going to wait for the um, doohickey. I'm going to wait for the beacon. Why run back when I can get there quicker with the beacon? Coming in here makes you want to use Nano Repulsor 10. <laughs> Just to not be debuffed. Yeah, these spirits I've had in for too long now. But because Atrox is severely handicapped on um, sense, for the, the amount of HP you gain, I never think it's worth it. But we agreed to do Atrox Shade, so we're doing it. I made him op effects, he'd be in combined beaters already. And running around here going, tra la 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 la. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, and that lovely crump, 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 constantly going. Makes, makes coming here complete pleasure. Yes, it does. Who thought that was a good idea? Adding that thrum, 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 thrum. Who thought, let's add this and make it really cool in this this <laughs> this playfield with a quest attached to it. Everyone will love that. It's like test of endurance. You're a musician, you're more sensitive. True, true. Trouble is, I point them out and everybody else goes, oh, God. Okay, I think we just completed Apotheosis... 10. Yay. So we got an extra 30 to all those skills. Uh, so we'll go for Stiletto Mastery 10 for the other bits. Right, run outside and talk to the Unicorn Commander. Talk at him until he gives us what we want. Why do I feel slow? Yeah, I'm at the... I'm at cap. I'm above cap, but I still feel like I'm running slowly. I'm not sure why. It's weird. Do I need all that gamma at 200 now? Probably not. It looks far more sinister without. And why is it always bloody night time in the Zan Herban Arid Rift in Sheol? <sighs> and you keep going through all the dialogue. Don't give him um, credits unless you're nuts. I'm sure management will not be pleased. I can see the headlines. Yeah, that that's what motivates him. Bad press. Is that kind of dark on stream now, or can you guys see okay? That's how dark it is in game, so. Let's go, let's go all in and entertain ourselves with ray tracing and uh, ambient occlusion. Don't have good news. All right, now we do the running down bit. Yeah, that just sounds dodgy to me. It's like someone had so many creds, but they've got no in-game current no real life currency or something it's just weird i bought and sold graces but actually don't have the money so they want the key but why would you want the key keep your account room but you've got you've got graces why not use those i don't quite get that just me maybe i'm not understanding it but it does make me go what Yeah. 
we have found the Charlie Moss. Ignoring the mobs. Oh, you can only use an in-game grace. That might be it, yeah. So one of their accounts has dropped. But they haven't got any but they've got a ton of graces but no actual money. Could be that, yeah. Now it makes sense. I just couldn't picture a situation where you'd want to do that, so I was like, wait, what? Just found it confusing. No, I might have forgotten to spend the grace. And then their account's now frozen. They're like, oh, shh. <laughs> you know? But I have graces on this other account. So they don't owe me as much money as buying game time. So I'll do it this way. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. So. Uh, what's next? Oh, the alien technology bit. Yeah, two parts to this one, despite the way it tells you different. Silja Russell has arrived on the stream. Welcome on in. It's me sneezing. It's like the cookie monster. Welcome on in, Siljar Russell, blowing farts in my general direction. Oh, dogs are noisy but so cute. They are. They kind of are. Yeah, there's two parts to this, but it's not obvious. Pisses animals off when they get smelt. Full small pieces of fish. One, give them the whole fish. Uh, same reason certain uh, dogs need a bowl that slows down their eating, because they bolt their food. And that might be why they're doing it. You can buy specialised bowls that um, they have like grooves and point, not pointy, but like raised areas so the dog can't just get huge mouthfuls of food and gobble it all up very, very quickly. Because sometimes doing that means um, they bolt the food and vomit and then the food's wasted. And it's bad for the dog as well. So many assemblers, no one is killing them. Another thing in school, I knew of a girl who needed 10,000 calories a day. What did she have? Tapeworms? There's animals were the same. How cruel it is to get fed so little. Uh, ten, you don't need 10,000 calories a day if you're marching across the South Pole. You must have had a... Well, yeah, skinny just means very fast metabolism. You must have had a hell of a problem absorbing food. 10,000? Yeah, I'm going to say that's... Yeah, there's something going on. Don't know what. Yay, the key to Lord Galahad's sanctuary. Right, so he wants these two parts. And the book. Well, 
my daughter worked in the otter part of the zoo one summer. She got told by the zookeeper that otters near near one death cases in zoos was that they choked on eating too fast. Ah, there you go. So another reason, as long as they get the entirety of the fish, of you know, over time. Right, yeah, go do the what's it things. What time are we at? We're getting on. We're getting late. Need the Ilan mobs. There's one. No, that's the wrong one. There he is. Damn it. I just wasted one. It's getting snagged so many times on debuffs, it's really winding me up. Too well to just blitz past these bloody things. one up here, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's one. Okay, someone is camping this area though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, the AFK in it. Hard to know, possibly. Oh, and the medic, the medic one that's constantly broken. Oh no, they're moving. Right, there's other ones in other places. Yeah, I'm just surprised there's no one camping assemblers, because there usually is. Running through the assemblers is usually dead easy, because they're all being killed. And you only need loot drops from them and nothing else. So there's usually a ton of corpses on the floor. That you can just grab or whatever. Okay, there's another guy that's been camping around here, killing everything. There is a bunch of them down by the seeds and whatnot. The plants, but I hate going down there. There's one.
go up here while I talk and type. quest so it's no biggie there's they spawn in other areas all right so i want to go down here near the alien plants my favorite zone in all the game he said laughing and crying at the same time Spawn where you are and down by the plant, so we're all good. So you want to play D and D? I'll look in a second while I'm not running for my life across the entire playfield. <laughs> it is a valid way. Jesus. Stupid amounts of damage. Yeah, it's a lot harder running through here when the bloody... There's no one camping them. You forget how many of those assemblers do spawn in there. <laughs> and why it's such a good area to XP in. Because the... the, the don't generally hit that hard compared to a lot of the other ones. Tomorrow the AI event. Yes, uh, yes thank, thank you for telling me. You have any more cage stims? There we go. I missed one, didn't I? Oh, aliens are tomorrow. Thank you. Are you that guy? <laughs> <laughs> That guy? I don't know. What guy? The man with the plan? <laughs> Said you're on stream. Oh, that's you. Are you that guy? Well, I don't know. What guy do you mean? 
I don't want to say yes. What if you mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody horrible. Conversations with the five-year-old DM. Five-year-old. Is, is it a spider dragon? What is that? A massive black dragon with eight legs and pincers dripping with poison. That's terrifying. Five-year-old dungeon master. It has a breath weapon. It breathes millions of tiny spiders at you. Ah, yay. <laughs> yeah, that's a dungeon master you don't want. Never thought I'd meet you one day. <laughs> I'm not that hard to find. Right, we're on this guy now. Mr. Bass. Say hey from chat. Chat says hi. <laughs> Right, so, alien plant. Joy. Do you ever feel like you know you're on full def, but it doesn't feel like you are? That's our red rift, baby. It's gonna be fun getting the parts. If there's no one farming, I'll have to farm them myself. He's <laughs> saying, hi guys! <laughs> and this stupid bloody collector boss is still here. Right where everybody runs. The graphics crashed today. Managed to boot it up, but oh, for fuck's sake, I hate like <laughs> Sorry, but I do. Here I am, just playing my game. No, you're not. Okay, so middle for diddle, get the plants. Is that what you think? <laughs> oh, you f with a snare and the dot. mind if I could sneak it but everything can bloody see me antidote lurking lurk lurk mode is fine don't you worry but hi welcome I didn't check to see who was in stream
Run away. Put some big flag on antidote so he can't lurk in the corner. No, but anyone is welcome to lurk. Lurkers are welcome. Sometimes you just want to sit back and chill. Some people have told me as well, they, they put my videos on when they go to bed on their phone or whatever and just put an earbud in and doze off. Because <laughs> they find my voice soothing, helps them get to sleep. Which is, uh, so I'm so boring, I put you to sleep, you say. But they mean it in a nice way. I get that as well. So, you know, that's all okay. I demand someone come and start farming assemblers so I can loot all the parts. And we made it back. There's a lot of back and forth with this quest as well, which is kind of annoying. There you go, Mr. Plant Dude Man. I won't go to any SL zones before I can do those zones without quests. Then that once is a level 60 agent. Yeah. Doing it as MA Keeper Shade Doc Engi. Sadly, we don't have a beefy tank, but I guess we finish tomorrow. Oh, the Adonis progression. As a level 60. Jesus. That's bonkers. Everything there will kill you and eat your ass for juju beans. <laughs> Whatever, you know. Go in there at level 60 is like all the mobs go, you've got a pretty mouth. <laughs> I will beacon and run back, I think. Getting into Sheol is easy. Yeah, getting through Sheol, doing the progression quest and going to Adonis. Whole order of harder than uh, than that you gotta because well number one you gotta do the whole quest down the long straight road once more back where we've been again and again being aggroed by the same piggy mobs That was, the other one was buggering off and now it's come back and it's a healer you piece of bloody Ugh. oh I hate you I hate combat medic you're gonna die you could have walked away but no you had to come here and see H the mob I'm fighting Yeah, doing the whole Milner quest and stuff is a right pain in the bum. Oh, I hate healing mobs. Just die! And why is my debuff not landing on it? Because it's not running, that's why. Great. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That'll be why the mobs are getting hard. You didn't have your debuff running. Alien Envoy. And then he aggroes. And we respond in kind. So somehow we don't. There we go. God, I remember doing the Milner quest. God, I hated it. Packaging wrong, I don't know. I'll look in a second. The only thing with shade, you gotta keep pressing buttons. It's <laughs> not like keeper, tab, Q, AFK. Right, let's have a look. Is that packaging right? Goatsy, is that you? <laughs> God almighty. The humanity. Oh yeah, it's saying tear the packaging from here so you can get a hold of the TV set. Surely there's nothing weird about that. Except, you know, everything. It's where they put the hole as well. <laughs> Do not Google Goatsy. I won't be responsible if you do. That was one of the... Tub Girl and Goatsy were some of the early um, gotcha uh, internet images that kind of became legendary in their own right. New generation should be exposed to this images. <laughs> then I'll truly curse the internet days were, well. yeah. Well, people should see Comcast's internet compared to fibre and also how they bad early internet was. Yeah, when when we got broadband here, the first broadband we had, it was half meg down and quarter of a megabyte up. Well, it was like twice as good as dial-up, but only just, you know? It was truly awful. And then we got one meg, then two meg, then it jumped to 12 meg. That was, that was quite nice. But we're getting 900, fiber 900 at beginning of December. I need the internet, but I have to talk to your aunt. Yep, that was it. Talk to Sherry Tater. Right, she gives me the doohickeys, doesn't she? Now I have to go and play 
with the bloody assemblies. I remember Jewel shot the two modems that worked together. Yeah, Jewel ISDN line and oh god. Two phone lines, yeah. It was called Dual I ISDN back then. In the UK, anyway. Yes, I remember the dial up tones. So we got the jammer parts. I need space, though, to do the assembly. I've got way too much crap in my inventory. <laughs> Really? 217. Oh, 90. 217. 217. Why, why won't you bloody combine, you useless sack of... <sighs> Should do. But it's just not going to do it. All this daily reward stuff off of this. You know, it's like half of daily rewards is just complete garbage that clutters up your inventory and you don't actually want any of it. <laughs> Whenever your computer doesn't listen, chug a beer. Actually, that is bad advice. Oh, God, yeah. Your liver would never stand it. Yeah, there was there was Goatsy, and then someone came up with um, the ASCII version of Goatsy, which was no better. But that used to frequent um, chat in AO quite often. Okay, I'm going to kill you first. You're the most dangerous one here. Yeah, most problems with computers are the person sat in front of them. Probably true. Attack, 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 attack. Jesus Christ. Left that hanging. Ooh. Still had me targeting God knows. Where's the corpse of the other thing? Funny when someone is farming here because you just stand there picking through all the corpses. Yeah, the Febcac virus. Fault exists between chair and keyboard. It broke the back of the playfield. Gotta love Shades Caress. Bloody would have died without it though. No doubt. Touch and go are surviving that. We did pretty lucky on some of the drops here, getting all three algorithms straight away.
Green one made. Oh, Ilian, is it? Goodbye. What am I making? The jammers for the final boss. You need the three different coloured things and then three of those. There we go. So you add that to that and then add that to it. Return to Sherry Traitor. I was actually quite fast. I thought I'd be there for a lot longer doing that, to be honest. Do what I can to destroy this thing. Goodbye. Yeah, so part of the Arid Rift quest is you have to make these jammers for the end boss, who is actually not that hard compared to running around here, generally existing in this bloody <laughs> play field. So we have a barrage tower, so we want the barrage jammer. And then we have the sweep tower, so we use the sweep jammer on that one. And then finally the spot tower. We use the spot jammer on. Then we go fight this big ass thing. Which isn't actually that bad. And then when it gets to like yeah just under 50 percent then you can kill it no that didn't work but it's gonna punish me now it must be pick up and click then. Despite it bloody saying it had done it. Right, barrage. Otherwise you do tiny amounts of damage to it. Oh, you piece of shit.
It said it had done it, but it doesn't feel like it has. Now we're hitting it for some damage. I just felt like the um, debuffs haven't worked. Like the detail on the mob. Yeah, you see it in Sector 28 as well. Same sort of dropship comes down. But it is one of the more detailed ships, yeah. And it's a cool sequence when it arrives in uh, Sector 20. I think it's Sector 28. get it halfway anyway he said yeah I was hitting it for like hundreds instead of thousands still kind of am can I go yet no it was saying that the jammers had done something but close to 50%. Let's go! I want to get this done. There we go. Kaboom! <laughs> and yeah, it can kill you doing it. <laughs> it's like the... Um, there's an alien daily that does something similar kill the alien pods out in PW. Now this would have been a lot better if the shade were not quite so undergeared, but that's why we're doing it, because we need the gear. So we talk to Sherry and then we exit and talk to the guy in the very middle of, Ari of um, the Zan area. Could you see the orbital strike from over here? Kaboom! Kill myself two times on that daily. First on Agent, five weeks later on the Enforcer, since I didn't remember it went kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> And we have, well, we should have like a weird, now ah, there it is. Interpretational program or something. And fine, I think. There we go, we go talk to Commander Lab. Yeah, I went there once and there was someone running away and I was like, oh, they must have finished the mission. And what they'd done is they'd just used the targeting device and as I was running towards where the um, the alien pods are, they were running away because they just hit the detonator so I ran straight into the explosion and died. 
I didn't realize that someone else's explosion affects you as well, but it does. It's a big AoE. Which was like kind of funny. They lolled and went, oh. <laughs> I was like, my bad, don't worry about it. Should have been paying attention. Sorry it will bother you. We're going in the box, everyone. We're going in that little room. To talk to the alien in a jar. <coughs> Excuse me. Just be quiet. The envoy, we wish you to come inside. What? What? Time and space bending. Teleport. There you go, and we're in the box room. Or well, we're meant to think it is. It's some other play field somewhere. Because you can't see players down there, even when they're there. And here is the guy... ...in the jar. And... ...kind of bugged out thing going on over there. That's meant to be inside that, but... ...yeah. Why are you in the tank? Because that's why I think the aliens are like jellyfish. And these are their exoskeletons that we're fighting. Whizzing through all the dialogue. It's really good stuff if you read it. But I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I've read it dozens of times before. There we go. So we're out. And I've got two spirits. I've got perception and concealment. And I've got the intelligent psychic one. But I need, still need to get my sense up to 1,020. Dun, dun, dun! Job done. And then just leaves you with alien threat. Go do, um... Might our hero or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so with those, you would add two lower quality ones that are the same and then combine the two together then use beaters of either one to keep upgrading it it's weird the way spirits work versus anything else right i'm gonna call it there we're coming up on 11 o'clock so it's been a longish stream let's just see anybody else streaming anarchy online at the moment let's have a look there's me and rubicar live feed and that's it oh well Jay's two cents. Doesn't really need a raid from me, I don't think. What's he doing? Music. Guitar practice and chill vibes. Oh, I'm not going to watch that because I'll start going, oh, put your fingers like did it, and I won't be able to stop myself. No, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, nice stream. Thank you. Oh, I got frustrated in Arrow Drift, but I always do. Usually I've done it on video and I cut out me effing and jeffing and being frustrated <laughs> right okay then thank you all for coming along thank you for the resubs the follows soto mahoney for the bit much appreciated and i'm gonna go because i'm really tired and there will be a aliens raid tomorrow so thank you all very much for coming along and i'll just say bye for now <laughs>